Hello everyone, it's Christian Green from Nature Heals Us. Brand new video. And today we are going to talk about how do people contract herpes. So we know off the bat that the most common way is kissing and having sex. But did you know that there's multiple ways of contracting herpes? And a lot of people have this sort of misconception that if they use a condom that that they can't catch herpes. Rule number one, you can catch herpes even if you use a condom. <laughs> a condom to me is like one of the biggest lies and scam. It's like it's like the government and this whole system. Like they want you to like they, they want people out there to contract herpes. Because you no, know, having herpes is nothing but a business, a, a billion dollar industry. And you know, your doctor tells you, oh, you know, use condoms, stay protected. You know, the system tells us to use condoms. Okay, C condoms does not protect you against herpes. It's like, no, using condom, using condom is like asking to catch herpes. Okay, condoms, condoms only, condoms only protect the the the, the area that it covers. It, it doesn't protect your thighs. It doesn't protect your butt cheeks. It doesn't protect no other part. So, if you're having sex with your, you know, if you're having sex and this is for the girls, you know, the guy, uh, the guy is like, you know, he's doing this doggy style, okay? And he has herpes on his upper thigh. You now have herpes because his thigh touch, touch your butt cheeks. And his, uh, his, uh, the, the parasite or viral load. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna say viral, but I'm gonna say parasite. It transmit from him to your butt cheeks. And don't be surprised, uh, three days later or a week later, you get an outbreak on your butt cheeks. So let's take that out. Condoms does not work. Condoms does not work. Another way that uh, people contract herpes is through touching. So, you know, sometimes if you live with relative, and if the person that's infected with herpes uh, perhaps scratches genital, which has an outbreak down there, or scratches his lip, and then and then he he or she immediately touches your your face, you can catch you can catch herpes now. You can catch herpes at any part of the body. You can catch herpes in your hand. You can catch herpes near your breast. Okay, herpes is a skin disease, so you can catch herpes at any part of the body, okay? Um, what else? So, what, another way that, uh, another way people contract herpes is through family, okay? And, uh, and you ladies out there with kids, you wanna be careful. You wanna be careful with daycare. You wanna be careful with the daycare and you wanna be careful with grandma, auntie, uncle. You wanna be careful because you don't know who has herpes. And that's why some people, um, when they come to me, they be like, oh, I, I had herpes since I was young or I was born with herpes. No one is born with herpes. No, nobody. Nobody's born with herpes. You contracted it through a family member, through a friend, through, a, through somehow. When, uh, or you contracted it when you were in elementary school or school, okay? So... Sometimes, so ladies, right? You gotta be careful with your family because you don't know who has it. They kiss your kid. Now your kid is going, is going to grow up having herpes. And you guys out there that are in school, college, and stuff like that, all that touchy, kissy stuff, avoid that because you don't know who in your school has herpes. The, the best way, the best way to know if a person is safe is for you guys to go to the hospital and get checked together. <laughs> I mean, if you guys want to be 100% safe, you have to uh, go to the hospital with your partner and both of you guys get checked, okay? But even if you, even if the place that you're going to, going to, the go, to go get checked for, test it for simplex one and simplex, simplex one and simplex two, you also have to worry about the other eight types of herpes okay there's eight more herpes out there you got simplex one you have simplex two you got chicken pox 
you got the SBM bar virus, you got the mega something, I forgot the name of it. You got herpes number six, which causes multiple sclerosis. You have seven, you have eight. Um, I'll make a video about the um, eight types of herpes later. But at the same time, they, at the same time, even if you're going with your partner to go get checked for simplex one and two, you still have to be concerned about what if that person has the other, uh, the other herpes that that I just mentioned. Okay, it's, it's a crazy world out there. It's really crazy. Look, going to the club is not safe. The club is the worst place to go to. Okay, you go into the club, get drunk kissing random guys or you kissing multiple girls you're gonna catch herpes okay I think when you go to the club it's like it's like one out of three person has it. you count three you got three book three people in the club one of them has herpes you just don't know who has it and for those of you guys who are in relationships just make sure your relationship is strong because once your partner cheat it's over for you well, it's not over until you clean out your system and do what you need to do. So, so, yeah, so guys, so just remember, there are multiple ways to catch herpes. Sharing cups. Sharing cups. That's why I don't share cups no more. I drink from my own cup. Uh, uh, touching each other. You can catch herpes just by touching and then touching yourself. Okay? Um, you can catch herpes from your nearest relative, nearest family. Well, don't send your kids to daycare, ladies, okay? Daycare, well, I, I, if I had kids, I would not send my kids to the daycare. Um, what else? The clubs, cut the club out. The club is not safe no more. The club is not, there's a lot of people in the club that has herpes and they don't even know it. And they're just passing it on, passing it on. So cut that club out, okay? Sharing cups. Don't share no more cups. Keep the cup to yourself, okay? Your relatives, you gotta be careful with your relatives. If you got brothers and sisters, you got you just don't know. So be aware. I want you guys to be aware. It's a dangerous world out there. We're living in the last days. You gotta be more open. To, you gotta be more open. You gotta be careful. Don't take no chances. Okay, guys. Just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. I want you to like, share, subscribe. Just remember, it's not safe out there. There are multiple ways of catching herpes. Okay? Um, grandma, auntie, uncle could, could have gave it to you and you grew up with it. Your partner could have cheated with Becky or Jennifer. Um, um, uh, what else? Yeah, the, the, the best way to be sure, the best way to be sure that, uh, that, if you're going, if you're going into a new relationship and you're meeting this new partner, it's for both you guys to go get checked at the same time. And if that person doesn't want to go check, go get checked, you should not be with that person. That should tell you something is wrong. You probably got got something. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.